The new exciting sport of moto surfing is taking over the world. There are many people who can create a product, but very few who can make an official new sport. Today in our Ask Me Anything show, we have the honor of speaking with the legendary Martin Sula, the creator of Jet Surf and a founder of the new exciting sport of moto surfing. So hi guys, hi Martin Pavel, and welcome to our show. Thank you for doing this interview. It's a special time because Jet Surf is about to celebrate its 15th anniversary. If I remember correctly, the first idea came in 2004 and the first prototype was developed back in 2007. So it's been such a long way. Please tell us how you decided to get started in such a big project. Oh, it started a uh, couple of years ago, I think. Yeah, you, you are correct. 2004, uh, with my uh, colleague, we tested the first prototype with uh, engine from the go kart, and uh, it was just a project for me, for 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 our friends. And uh, first, from the, since from the first uh, ride, I decided that it's really fun, and we started uh, with uh, a real project. With uh, first small small engine from uh, airplane con from radio airplane co control uh, uh, engine, and then uh, we started with uh, development directly to to this project. And nice. uh, it was like 2000 uh, 2007, I think. And since I saw the uh, potential and uh, how fun is is it for me and for uh, my friend here. That we started with, uh, with a completely uh, project which will be uh, similar to what what we see right now. So I know you're very passionate about the martial arts and also motorsports. So, but this time you created a whole new sport yourself, and I know a lot of people didn't believe at first that this is even possible. So how you could achieve it? Uh, yeah, look, uh, uh, I'm in motorsport since 2000, uh, uh, yeah, 1995 I started first my my uh, uh, job in uh, high-level high motorsport. And uh, for me, principle, the engines and the development is my life. And But I always was fighting with uh, the rules with, uh, with uh, government and with uh, some uh, uh, restrictions uh, because um, my job is to develop always something new because I'm like engineer, I, I'm looking for new new directions and uh, uh, I always uh, bring something which somebody start to cut it. <laughs> then I saw, okay, it's stop. I would like to stop with this, uh, with this uh, uh, systems, with existing um, federations, because there is a lot too much people, too much politics. And then, since I saw the potential with motorized board, I started immediately with, uh, with uh, trying to, to create this what we see right now. I took some uh, good guys uh, from motorsport, which uh, helped me to create the, the uh, first rules, uh, style, board, and uh, we started 2012 with first small uh, small race race here in Czech Republic. I was like seven guys together, and uh, that time we uh, started to develop a completely new product directly for uh, for sport for motorsport. And uh, I created my own federation. Uh, it was 2015 in Switzerland. It was a uh, uh, surf like first motor surf federation. And uh, then, with the steps up, how the sport is growing, we we start to fighting with uh, uh, with uh, standard federations. And right now, uh, end of la last year, we move our federation under umbrella from. Uh, uh, official UEM federation that uh, principle right now uh, is the, right now is the uh, this sport real official sport uh, under federation UEM and it's only like first uh, Czech sport and principle we are here proud to to do that because we created the uh, first sport which came from 
Czech Republic, uh, no uh, it's the owner and uh, and uh, the, the the product. Principle the main product is from Czech Republic. So the motorized surfboard existed since about 1970s, but you know they were very big, very heavy. It more it was more like a jet ski than a surfboard. It was impossible to transport alone. So your product was basically the first that is a lightweight and powerful at the same time. So what was the biggest challenge putting a motor that is so small in a board that is so small, but also making it very powerful at the same time? The principal uh, challenge uh, is uh, salt water. <laughs> challenge is, is nature for, uh, for us. And um, I, I did, I did uh, a lot of things in my life for Formula One, for MotoGP, for Go Kart, but never I was fighting so much with technical things uh, like for motorized board because uh, the biggest element here is UV and salt water together. And uh, because you can you can do principle for standard cars for motorcycles, there's a lot of parts which principally put to, together and you can you can go. But here, uh, the salt water eat everything. <laughs> then I think that uh, this is the, it was the first biggest challenge and the second find the materials which uh, can be long long time on on, on, on salt water and also huge big 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 vibrations this is the the biggest problem for us uh, because through through the jumps and uh, through uh, the riding on on uh, on the big uh, like on the big principle on tropy water uh, these shocks which are coming into the body and into the electronic is huge much more uh, bigger than uh, for example um, motocross machines yeah, because everywhere you have the, the uh, suspensions, you have tires and so. And here, for example, if, when, when we try the jumps from like two meters high waves, the uh, acceleration, like G, is uh, more than uh, 25. Then, principal motorsport uh, in uh, Formula One, when you have a crash and the acceleration is more than 30 G, you completely change all of the electronic parts. And uh, here, this is the biggest challenge for us to to develop the uh, parts which uh, can work long time on, on salt water and uh, go through these jumps. Uh, and then, second, of course, uh, he was trying um, how to how to develop the chassis and principle completely the hydrodynamic for uh, the button of the board and top of the board because the board is uh, principle more like plane. Yeah? because you are uh, flying on the water. It's not like a standard boat, because everybody are thinking that it's like standard boat. And uh, also, also, I remember the time when, when uh, I was first time in Hawaii, and all of these surfers told me that yeah, this is completely wrong chassis to do that, this, this. And uh, I'm lucky because I never heard uh, somebody else. I just heard um, my opinions and my, my uh, uh, ideas. Then uh, I was pushing uh, this our idea to create not like surface engine, because the first boards what you which what you told me before was developed more like standard surf with engine inside. But it's a completely wrong idea because uh, motorized surfing is sport completely different sport which is for uh, our own um, uh, rules. And uh, for that, we need completely different uh, machine. Machine, yeah. And uh, yeah, mm, the then next uh, challenge was uh, uh, completely build the infrastructure behind uh, the board because everybody sees just the board, but uh, the board is, I think, 20% of the completely business because you must have behind completely production because uh, nobody can produce for you. Uh, the parts what we need because it's all it's all amount of the of the, the quantity is pretty small. It's not like uh, motorcycle business, and principal you need to produce everything uh, in your house. Otherwise, uh, the parts are wrong. You have a lot of problems with uh, with uh, reliability and so. Then uh, I, uh, I was under pressure to build completely the new factory with uh, with uh, production system inside with. Uh, completely management for from uh, from production up to sell and together with the motorsport 
then the product is just, I think, maybe maximum 20% of this completely for the business. Of course, don't forget for the sales network, spare parts, warranties, uh, at that moment, the PR, communications, marketing, this is also the very important part of the budget. Yeah, and now you see after so many years that a lot of companies are also trying to make their jet boards, but most of them quickly fail and go bankrupt. And especially when they try to make a machine that is stable in the salty waters. Like you said, with salty waters, it's really a big challenge. And most people who start doing it, they don't realize that all the screws can go rusty and everything is falling apart with vibration as well. So what was your main challenges with old models and how you fix them up to 10 years? Well, the first, uh, first challenge was um, mm, if uh, the biggest challenge was the electronic, definitely the electronic uh, ignition and uh, and uh, also the carbon parts, yeah. And uh, when I saw the troubles, what we, what we had on the beginning, then I decided that we, we must go only with uh, our own uh, fabric factory, which uh, will be developed and completely built directly for this machine, yeah, because uh, the structure, what you need for uh, testing through the production is most important part for reliability. Yeah. And you cannot never produce the part like we are doing with suppliers. No, absolutely impossible because the people in another factory, they completely don't care about your your troubles, about salt water, about UV. They just deliver the parts yeah, and take the money. But for us here, we have uh, uh, principal minimum like 15, uh, 15 points through the production where the parts are tested. Yeah, where in principle we go with, uh, with uh, systems, with engineers, which in principle check the data from all of the production. And I think this was the, the this is this is the problem. I cannot specify to you right now that, for example, engine was the biggest problem or, or chassis. You know, it's completely system and com completely uh, structure here inside. But uh, definitely the huge challenge for us was uh, started 2016 when the uh, European government moved this uh, product uh, out of uh, surf with, uh, with the engine because before was the, the rules was just written for surf with uh, help engine, something like a hobby product. And they move it out and uh, move uh, under, under standard uh, jet ski rules. And since from the time we was under pressure to develop completely new new product with uh, with um, standard uh, system with uh, all tests like is uh, emission test like is uh, uh, noise test and uh, this all all systems developed to to the final and right now we see that uh, uh, we are the first company. Uh, on the planet, which was able to bring the direct fuel injection to to, to this like a two-stroke engine, and, uh, and also is working on the salt water because we, we start with uh, development 2015 direct fuel injection to this DFI engine it was like it took us three years, and the price for the whole development was around one million euro. Then. Uh, we, we decided uh, this direction, all of my engineers told me, look, it will be almost impossible because to use the electronic and on salt water, it's impossible. But on the end, we did it. And right now, everybody see that um, it's working. Nobody can go back to the carburetor yeah, because we also here, we completely stopped the carburetor systems and uh, we are just focusing only for fuel injection. Yeah, this is the. It was for us very hard, and uh, especially for the uh, United States market, it, it was absolutely, uh, absolutely, uh, like uh, hard. And uh, for us, we, we cannot sell the, the product without without direct food in the United States market. But this is very important to mention it. We are only the one. Petrol brand has the CE approval. No, no other brands on the market 
has the products with CE approval and nobody should use it officially. It's a strange when you take a look for the boat market. Most of the boards, big boards and boats uh, are registered. But uh, the jet surf, most of the jet surf or motorized surfboards are not registered because of the people, but the mainly other producers are not able to do it because they need, they they don't use the fuel injection and they are not able to pass the emission control uh, limits so only the jet surf at that moment in the petrol category has approved c approved models and you like the final customers is able to officially go to the registration point and uh, register it you can have the insurance you can officially ride it so that's that's why all the development has been done and this is the result i see unfortunately not not, not all of the users knows it and uh, the portion of the users is a little bit more to the uh, unregistered boards but uh, in the future we believe that uh, most of the boards will be registered uh, that's also our advantage we, we are able to offer it all right all right and i've been testing the new jet surf titanium dfi actually just today at six o'clock in the morning i went to test it it was really amazing so I know now you offer a big range of boards. So for people don't, who don't know yet, uh, can you quickly cover which board fits for each type of rider? It's good when uh, uh, I started with this uh, uh, product and uh, I, I saw the market. Then uh, for me, it was in the beginning uh, here that we need to bring different products for different people. And principally me, I love like on one side motorsport, but second side skiing. And um, uh, we principal copy part portion of the uh, skiers skiing and portion of the mot mot motocross and uh, mot mot like uh, bikes principal motorbikes. Yeah. And I think that uh, because I never I, I was I never was thinking about the surfers. Principal was it was our our. Market is completely different because I think that a lot of people did mistake that uh, the surfer surfers are our customers you now because the surfers they are not so much money and <laughs> it's uh, nature people principle different different people and uh, but in motorsport there is there is a huge uh, amount of the people they have uh, 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 brain in, uh, full of the uh, fuel and. Uh, the people they love acceleration, uh, jump, and uh, noise and this stuff. Then uh, and the similar is uh, the skiers. Yeah, the skiers they love uh, ski different ski slalom, uh, downhill, and so. And uh, then our focus is now directly for this type of the clients, and that's why we develop different boards. Principal, uh, we have a board for um, similar like. Uh, Mm, uh, like uh, old ski if you know the old ski which was just straight this is the chassis uh, adventure because this board is uh, very stable on the water go uh, very smooth for long distance and this board is, is developed for uh, for um, travel people they love to to start to, to travel i think this uh, this this uh, type of uh, sport right now sleep but we would like to open because uh, here in Czech Republic and around in, Cor uh, in Croatia we are riding uh, uh, sometimes with uh, board with uh, uh, fuel tank there and we are doing like 100 kilometers per day very easily with uh, travel all around nice islands uh, uh, we are sometimes we are, uh, we are riding on, on the rivers yeah which is very nice, uh, very nice sport actually. And this is what we, uh, for what we have uh, the model adventure. And then Adventure Plus, which is developed uh, for uh, 
independent riding, just you need just the fuel. No, uh, you, need, you don't need any charger or nothing, just fuel, uh, if you want to go. By the way, this board we, 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 we are going to send to you in some couple of uh, days also, yeah, the best. And uh, this is the uh, first direction. This is just like uh, more hobby, more uh, like adventure. Second direction, we have uh, rental business uh, and the boat. Uh, for that, we have model sport, which is, which is principally the cheapest, uh, cheapest board from uh, our production range. The board is uh, like a very easy product without any special parts inside, but a reliable product for beginners. Uh, then we go to um, model uh, race. This is most model, uh, model which principal UF also. And uh, this board is a combination between um, uh, standard engine, uh, which has a huge torque and it's uh, reliable. Uh, the noise level is, uh, is slow and principal with all certification. This board is uh, developed for uh, safe riding and uh, principal carving and the, the, the chassis working like a uh, car ski and this is uh, what uh, what uh, uh, was our focus on the beginning to have product which is like uh, uh, slalom ski principal and uh, this product are using uh, people they love just uh, uh, short distance riding, but with, uh, with cars, with jumping, with uh, waves. And also we are using this board on Motosur World Cup for um, women and for kids. And uh, for example, in Czech Republic right now, we have more than uh, 55 uh, kids which are training every day with this board and uh, pushing this product on the limit. And some of them, uh, they are right now uh, professional skier, skiers, and uh, we improve really a lot uh, their skills for uh, for uh, for skiing. And it's very important to to use this uh, product for uh, young um, young skiers uh, through the summer season. Yeah, and then uh, we have we go to uh, race titanium board, which uh, was developed directly only for Motos World Cup and for the racers. With, uh, the, with uh, most of full engine from our production range with uh, different chassis principle we have their different setting of the fin we have a lot of uh, fins you can buy different turbine you can buy you can buy from uh, different bindings and uh, the future of, the, of this product is uh, uh, supported uh, the motors world cup yeah. and uh, now the end uh, and uh, board what we have is uh, electric uh, which, uh, of course, uh, must come to to our production range. And uh, by the way, uh, I already had the, the f my first electric board was done in 2008. But on the time, there was not good batteries and a uh, lot of lot of uh, lot of uh, troubles with uh, electronic. But um, Principle on this time was, was also working, but I, I don't, uh, but I don't see there so any uh, customers. Yeah, but right now the situation is different. Uh, the technology is going up, and I think that we developed uh, from the parts what is right now uh, on the market, uh, like the special the battery and the parts on the electronic. We developed something which is working. I think. Uh, on the top of the technical level, like like usual, and uh, we push a lot of our knowledge into this uh, into this uh, board. In principle, there is uh, the best knowledge from uh, from the motor work up to the chassis yeah, to develop the chassis uh, like the board. Then um, inside the engine, because uh, uh, our main job into between 2000. And, two, and 2010 was uh, in MotoGP and Formula One developed the care systems, yeah, the energy recovery systems. That principally we had a lot of knowledge from uh, we have a lot of knowledge from uh, this um, high performance electro motors and uh, the electronic. For us, it's nothing uh, new. We just uh, like uh, implementing this knowledge into the salt water. 
and uh, yeah we start to, to also do the racing with electric and uh, we will see what what what, 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 is, what will be the future but definitely i see maximum portion between half and half uh, electric compared to combustion engines. Uh, speaking of electric, a lot of people who never know about these jet boards, they assume that electric is the future because it has no emission, it's safer, it's cleaner, and they don't understand that actually it's also very heavy and riding time is much shorter. So how do you see the industry changing in future? Will it be only electric or will still have a lot of petrol boards next, let's say, 5-10 years? Uh, basically, I'm an engineer, you know, and uh, I don't love lying. And uh, electric is uh, the business is more about lying than about the reality. Yeah. It's in the car industry, in you know, all of this industry. People just lying the parameters. I hate it. Yeah. This is what. That's why we are always creating the motor surf uh, world cup or these uh, competitions because everybody can come and compete with us. Yeah. And then we see which boards is good or not. Yeah. This is the reality. First, second, uh, I I really hated this uh, 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 talk about uh, about emissions and about um, environmentally environmentally friendly parts for products because we have a lot of clients which are using the the this electric bo- boards on the yacht. Principally, this is like uh, maybe 60% of our, our customers, and they are charging the battery from a generator petrol generator or diesel generator on the yacht and then the generator is working with much more lower efficiency than the small engine in our petrol board then you produce much more emissions from the charging than uh, from from the petrol board which are using with a uh, very small efficient engine yeah, this is absolutely stupid and i am always smiling some to, sometimes i cannot be on the on the show because if i if i hear sometimes the people like they are t- talking about environmentally and they don't see and they don't know about uh, battery about res- recycling about uh, producing the uh, cobalt in Gong- congo somewhere which are doing the small kits yeah this is this not make sense nothing together with uh, environment friendly first and second with uh, with uh, i think something for 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 help us to to make a cleaner planet yeah and uh, why I developed the, this uh, this uh, product like motorized board was because the, on the on, on the market was just the jet ski, yeah. and if we compare to transport the, the guy from place A to B, for example, 30 kilometers, then we producing 14 times less emissions. And this is what we what we are what we are talking about that we are much more cleaner than uh, the just the all all boats all jet skis right now on the market but 14 times yeah. and this is uh this is what our job to bring something uh, cleaner but we, we if we start to talk about uh, about uh, emission compared to to uh, electric and compared to to petrol then uh if you charge the electric boards from uh, from for example, solar panels, solar panels, or if you if you do that at home, okay, it's uh, nothing against this, then uh, it's it's cleaner. But uh, if you do that on the boat, no. Yeah. Okay, this is the first. Second, uh, there there is a huge advantage of the electric is uh, noise, and definitely the board is uh, uh, less vibration. That principle. You don't feel so much the vib- like uh, on, compared to combustion combustion board uh, vibrations. And uh, next uh, advantage um, is that uh, for beginners, for the first one hour, it's uh, it's easy to to go in, and it's definitely that's why the board. Is. I think the principle for the places where you you you. Uh, can use this board like really good product like funny product is uh, uh, somewhere in in the, in the lakes yeah it's perfect because if we have the lake in the middle of the city perfect you can use the electric super i think uh, we have uh, some places like uh, maybe switzerland like austria super but uh, to use this board on the salt water, special 
in the open uh, open ocean not make sense for me but this is the this is the production range we have different people we have a lot of people there they are they, they live in the in the cities they, they have close to the city some uh, lake and for this place is perfect and i think that uh, right now our focus for development of the electric board was to have uh, 30 minutes same same fun like with the petrol yeah it, it was the goal and i think that uh, we did it because we was uh, fighting um, maybe three years and we did more than uh, uh, 220,000 laps on the racetrack <laughs> with data logger to found the optimum optimum balance and op optimum uh, point of gravity for the board uh, to principle uh, a little bit like covered the weight. Yeah. But I think we uh, we did it and uh, the board for 30 minutes uh, working perfect. But uh, still. I see the the problem is charging where to where to find a, uh, because on the beach no no possible to charge the board and uh, you need to bring the battery and so huge infrastructure. But uh, I I see the future. Uh, the future is uh, both both products definitely uh, people uh, need to to take product which passed for them this is most important and we need good dealers which can uh, uh, explain everything i uh, there in this point i see the biggest problem because the same like if we would like to sell the uh, uh, bicycles right now because you can come to the bicycle shop and there stay how oh many 15 different bicycles different uh, different uh, types yeah and the and the seller need to explain you what you exactly need, which, uh, which, uh, how big, how size, and this, that, and the same is with motorized boards. And uh, now we are working special to improve our dealer net, that uh, the dealers must be like professional people. They can explain to the clients what what they really need, yeah? because the clients, most of them, if they are like first time on this uh, sport, they they don't know what they need. <laughs> All right, and let's of course talk about the Motorsurf World Cup. So it started as a small event for your family and friends, and now it became a big international competition and recognized as an official sport. And you have several stops around the globe. So let's assume the coronavirus is over, and how do you see it's restarting soon? And will it continue to travel? How do you see it's evolving? Okay, we are lucky that uh, most of the riders are here from Czech Republic because we are pushing the sport here uh, really hard. And uh, they are right now really uh, hungry for the first race. I saw the weekend uh, weekends in our our places because we have in Czech Republic three places, I think, uh, three places. Yeah, more, all the time they are, they are full and full of the riders and uh, we have like it's no problem to have on on one place like 70 boards 70 yeah, boards on one place uh, for the weekend yeah. and the people competing and uh, riding and so on. and i always say wow it's like uh, <laughs> crazy to, to see that and just uh, uh, a little bit scared about some crashes but okay no, nothing's happened right now but uh, with Motorsport Mot World Cup, uh, it will be difficult this year. I see that uh, we will have maybe one or two races um, end of the season. Uh, now, right now, uh, we are talking back to the Abu Dhabi. And uh, but problem is uh, that right now too expensive to uh, move everything there because the transport right now is expensive. Yeah. But uh, definitely, we changed our strategy this season for uh, uh, Motorsurf, what we have con Motorsurf Continental Cup, because we have uh, under Motorsurf World Cup, we have also Continental Cup. And we have Conti European Continental Cup, Asia Continental Cup, and uh, American Con Continental Cup. Uh, the idea was uh, that from this uh, type of the races are coming the best riders to Motorsurf World Cup. And uh, the first race will be here in Czech Republic, uh, in uh, Hradec Králové. Uh, there are already uh, more than 90 riders confirmed. And uh, the race will be, I think, the biggest what we ever did. 
right now because we had always like uh, between 50, 70 riders. Right now we will have almost 100. Then uh, next uh, step will be um, the Slovakia and Poland. And we just cross the, the countries around the uh, Czech Republic because it's um, for us uh, easy to now to move the part and uh, we are focusing for right now for next season because uh, for Motors World Cup because the mm, but I see it's not the problem for us because uh, special we have a lot of a um, lot of juniors in uh, Continental Cup which uh, grow right now to be competitive next season in Motors World Cup and uh, I think I, I, I think that next season will be a huge change in Motors World Cup because old riders like me and some kind of people just uh, they they just will be moved out of the first line from the from the young riders but this is perfect because it like must be because this uh, like these young uh, athletes must be faster they have uh, time time for sport for uh, for competing and they have principle for them is just uh, or must be for them just uh, school and second is uh, sport yeah. and what about you do you plan to continue to compete you've been really on top of your game for so long time now the like Kelly Slater yeah. <laughs> yes, uh, look, uh, definitely, because uh, first, uh, I love that atmosphere, I love the adrenaline, which are always on the start, and second, uh, we still have the problem to find uh, the people which uh, can move the knowledge from the track to the computer. And this is the, always the huge problem for all of the companies, yeah, because uh, the development and uh, the move this product uh, for for to be like better and com more competitive and so it's uh, about uh, about uh, testing about knowledge and especially about the people they can they 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 have uh, they have both principle they know how to write first but second they must know how to move these ideas, which is not good on the product. Why the board is not made good turns? Why the board is too much take the the air and and this this this, and how to move this one into to, to uh, the production yeah, through the computer, through the machining modes and everything. And this process uh, we already started uh, five years ago in our company. We have. Uh, like two, two, three best riders, but still, the, like yeah, uh, like Jakub Konfal from uh, MotoGP, like Lukas Zahorski, both of them are very good riders, but still they need now to uh, improve uh, technical knowledge and uh, special principle, spe special principle, physically and hydrodynamic knowledge to know how, what what principle is the background why the board is moving like like that what they need to change for better uh, b b better uh, turns and smooth turns and this stuff because uh, for us like for uh, jetter is uh, our dna is always to be uh, on the top and uh, uh, you never can come right now to the top without uh, this uh, portion of the work you always must uh, principle who who, who uh, can be better than we are must uh, do more work than we are doing this is this is just logic yeah and uh, in my life I always was pushing myself and our team to be the best and um, uh, but we are pushing that with time on 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 the workshop and the time on on, on the track and uh, I, I, I think that we are we are working more than eighty percent of our all all time what we what we have and we, we do this this job. All right, and the final question: How do you see the sport of jet surfing evolving during the next years? Will we see some sort of electric racing or maybe freestyle? Look, um, what I see, um, definitely the, the sport is here, definitely people love it. 
this is for me the best message which I can receive. And we have a lot of uh, juniors which are pushing their parents to buy them the board for the sport. This is the absolutely best uh, what what we can have. Um, and for this is based everything because if we have product which uh, is just for the top uh, people, for some uh, old people, the, this product is uh, dead after some couple of uh, years. Uh, the most important is uh, the, the kids, juniors, and growing with them together. Uh, I see here a lot of enthusiasm from these young uh, young people. They are smiling, riding, do the training, and this always uh, brings me a lot of energy. And uh, this is what is our future. Yeah? And uh, for us, our job is right now to give them the product which for the parents will be will be on the on the good level between uh, between um, price and between uh, principle uh, sport and the knowledge what the kids can receive. Yeah? Because with this uh, type of the sport for for the kids is huge uh, huge. Uh, school because uh, first they are on, they are out of the computers out of these uh, phones and so they can they can be on the water which uh, is healthy on the principle of this second is uh, uh, second is uh, technical knowledge because uh, they can improve their technical skills if, because they need to screw something they need to put their fuel and mix the fuel and this stuff which uh, always uh, help them for for their life and uh, next uh, step uh, we have a lot of uh, ideas how to how to move the products uh, to the future i think that uh, you never you never can stop uh, the improving because if you look back to for example ski uh, 100 years ago was only two ski you know but right now it's always only the two skis but uh, the completely different products like the bicycle yeah, one hundred years ago, bicycle was bicycle, yeah, two two uh, wheels. But right now, the bicycle is completely different. Yeah. Then uh, I, I see. Would, I would say we are considering uh, also the, or we are referring from the motorcycle industry, where has the big popularity, long distance uh, rides and uh, and the races. So we are considering to try to organize uh, the kind of the long distance race somewhere between the island uh, kind of the rally like the motorcycles are doing so because of of uh, the product uh, adventure plus what is uh, suited for it and uh, we will test if this kind of the race uh, would be interested for the for the riders and uh, we will see maybe the kind of the Dakar rally uh, can be done also on the jet sets in the future. We will see. Sounds good. But, uh, but also, also on the back, uh, the last I think uh, we, we we start to uh, doing the real competition with uh, electric boards, and um, it's bring first a lot of knowledge for us and for all of this industry. Second, uh, we will see after two years if uh, the, this competition can uh, go for the future, same like petrol. I, I don't think so much because, uh, because of uh, price for move the parts from point A to B, because it's very expensive to move the, move the battery. And, but we will see what what what's happened and uh, we will push this uh, this industry like we are already doing last 15 years <laughs> formula formula e is alive so we believe that on some nature places or, or places where it's uh, riding on the petrol version limited uh, can be organized the races with the electric and if you look our, our office everything is full of this uh, uh, Formula One guys here on the <laughs> like my, my, Michael Michael Schumacher and uh, Enzo Ferrari and uh, here Alan Prost with Senna and this is our DNA. <laughs> All right, guys, it's been an amazing interview. I want to thank you personally from me and all the fans and followers 
for creating this amazing board and I think it became not just a sport but a lifestyle for many of us and it's really really amazing I really hope it keeps keeps on growing and I wish you all the best and another successful year thank you thank you, thank you so much thank cheers you. Thank you. Take bye care. bye, -bye. bye, -bye.